stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that, and as always, I appreciate you. So, what we have here says nuclear reactor in Japan shut down over fears volcanic eruption could trigger Fukushima-style meltdown. Now it says the decision is a blow to the government's push to restore dozens of nuclear plants shut down after the disaster in 2011. You know, it's, you know, you know, I like I don't feel bad for their government that they can't keep restarting these nuclear power plants and that they had to shut another one down due to the fact that there might be yet another meltdown should the, the volcano in this area erupt. Um, you know, they keep trying to feed us this story that six years later, after the Fukushima meltdown, that everything's just perfect again. The fish are fine, the soil is fine, the water is fine. And, come on, I think anyone with common sense knows that's not true. I mean... If you could just look at Chernobyl, some 30 years later, still not safe around the area. Um, it, and, and it's going to take a reported, you know, possibly another 100 years before that area is safe to live in and to, to, to grow crops in and, you know, and whatnot. Now, I know Fukushima wasn't on that scale, but it was still a very, very large meltdown and you can't tell me after six years no matter what the media feeds us that it's safe there so like I don't feel sorry for the government and their plans when they're literally basically killing their people with all these nuclear power plants because you know all these meltdowns you know this is another possible meltdown and they're all of a sudden distraught because they had to shut a plant down well if you had another meltdown and you kill thousands of more people and pollute the air pollute the ocean even more and pollute the soil like I just don't get them <laughs> I just don't get them but here is the actual reactor um, the uh, Akata nuclear power plant it was restarted last year but they just now currently shut it down to fears a, 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 a volcanic eruption um, could actually cause another meltdown it says a nuclear reactor in Japan has been shut down to the do risk uh, from nearby volcanoes it says the reactor at the uh, Akata nuclear plant was restarted last year but before um, but after being shut um, for maintenance will now not reopen it says the decision of the Hiroshima High Court is a blow to the Japanese government that had uh, been hoping to bring dozens of plants back online in the wake of the 2011 Fukushima disaster it says the power plant suffered multiple meltdowns following the tsunami that struck the, the country in March of 2011 um, it says stringent new safety standards were later introduced however decisions to approve the restarting of other reactors in the country have been met with protests I mean rightfully so I mean this is a man right here he's walking on the ports that was destroyed in the 2011 tsunami um, now here's one of the volcanoes in this area. It says volcanic ash spews from the crater of Mount uh, Shinmodake um, in 2011. Now this is from 2011, but this is one of the volcanoes in this area that they're concerned about. Now it says a lower court had previously ruled that the uh, Sh um, Shikoku Electric Power Company could restart its number three unit. However, the high court decision has overruled that. Um, only four of Japan's 42 nuclear reactors are online as of now. I think it's a, a, a good, you know, and what a lot of us, I mean, at least me here, in, you know, I live in Ohio here in the States, and we don't really think about the fact that we actually have nuclear power plants all over our country as well. Um, now, fortunate enough, fortunately for us, we've never truly had, like, a major meltdown, Um but it goes on to say that Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is aiming for 22% of the country's electricity be, to be generated by nuclear power by 2030, but such reversals could prove a major obstacle. It says before Fukushima, a third of the country's electricity came from the same nuclear source. So, again, you know, not much context to this article, which I apologize for, but it's still something I wanted to share with you because it, it just blows my mind that the government's upset that they're not being able to restart these these nuclear power plants. I mean, if you have volcanoes in the area that could trigger another meltdown, when I believe they're covering up the the devastation and the, the amount um, of damage that has been caused to the Pacific Ocean, to the soil, to the water. 
So, I mean, just in my opinion, I think the high, the high courts are making the right decisions by not allowing these to come back online, especially if there is the dangers in the area that could trigger another meltdown. You know, um, you know, it's, uh, I almost, I feel bad for, you know, the people that living in and around Japan just because it seems like their government simply does not care. They, they, they want to push this nuclear power, um, uh, agenda, if you will, and they, they don't care about any loss of life or any damage or destruction that comes from that. So, you know, I just wanted to share it because it, in a lot of ways, it's some good news. You know, you don't want these reactors coming back online, especially if there's volcanoes in the area that could trigger a meltdown if they erupt. So, again, just wanted to share this article with you guys. Um, thanks for watching these videos and supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys very much for that. Um, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.